Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. This is Central Texas Life with Ann Harder. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Central Texas Life, and it is great to have J.D. Hinton back with us. You are back <laughs> in Central Texas. I am. And I uh, have always enjoyed time to spin with you, for sure, to hear about your exploits in Hollywood <laughs> and Los Angeles, but especially your music. Well, thank and you. And you've got some new music. I do. We want to talk about. We can, we can certainly do that. It's also a pleasure and a joy to always be with you. <laughs> And I see well, that you've come up in the world because I like the uh, you, <laughs> literally. We really, are, yeah, because we were mm, we were I on a street level. We were before. street. I can't remember which of the previous locations, the but yeah, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it, this is. I still pinch myself that I get to come up here and it's just amazing. enjoy this view, and you know, Baylor's just right over there, and it, it's. I'm not the only one that said this, but having uh, grown up through elementary school and and then high school and going to to Baylor here. I've today for the first time been in the Alico building. I, I, I you see it in pictures all the time. You go, that's <laughs> well, it, that's what it is. But I today was the first day I walked in, and of course I got, you know, frisked and and oh yeah, they, right. They 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 print out a little name. <laughs> well, they, thing they knew I was you. coming. They said, "Hey, <laughs> slow this guy down." Yeah. Well, as as they say, it's high time. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and we are on the twenty first floor. But it's it's always so good to. Uh, to hear because your creativity just never stops. And when we had the chance to talk before, we we kind of got into the deep weeds a little bit right. about the creative process, process and what gives you inspiration and and that kind of thing. And um, it's it's really neat to hear. And we're going to play for uh -huh. uh, our audience uh, snippets or maybe the whole thing. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Probably the whole song of, of three different. Oh, great, uh, EP great, releases great. that you have. The first one that came out has got a real kind of a rock edge to it. I mean, definitely. And I'm talking about um, Too Damn Good. Too Damn Good. I, you, you made me say a bad word, but I, I just did. I've, I've been called on that. <laughs> <laughs> so the, tell, me, tell me a little bit about, well, about this song. You know, there's a... Uh, uh, there's a reason writers use language to convey information. And uh, I read a, a friend of mine wrote a pilot for a TV show in, in Hollywood, and he sent it to me. And it reminded me of a, of a, of a, of the, of a story of a country western guy that I, I knew about. And as he was described to me, every chance he had in life to make a decision, he made the wrong one. Ah. And so reading this script, this fellow that was the pivot point of, of the story just made bad decisions after bad decisions. And as you get to that moment of choice, did it again. And, and the, the way that it worked was that he didn't really care if he got caught. It didn't matter to him. He was able to go on with his life, and it was just kind of who he was. So I, I, I thought about that, and so the, the title, Too Damn Good, is the result of the line, he didn't stop, he doesn't stop to think past tonight, because now it's just too damn good. <laughs> well, it's this character is, it's a phrase, unafraid of consequences. That's it. Shall we say. And, and that really this inspiration kind of came to you in a Starbucks in Austin? Well, I used to, uh, I used to, Part of my writing plan is to be able to write anywhere. So if you're sitting in a Starbucks, my God, uh, I, I can either use the notes on my phone or I can bring a pad and I can just start. So I'd read the script and I just started making notes about, okay, then 
and then you write 40 pages that you're only going to get three verses out of it. Right. Those 40 pages give you a whole sense of the character and what he would do, and gosh, what would he do if, and, and what's the worst thing that could happen if. And you write all that down and, and hopefully make it fun to listen to. Yeah, so, so did the TV show get made? Oh, heavens no. <laughs> What, what but you, and you composed more songs for it. Well, I mean, so I know. they got the music ready. I know. So, But that's kind of where I walk in. I'm going, look, I'm going to do this. And if the show doesn't go, I'm, st- I'm going to do this well enough that I'll still like the song. And I'll use the song. And it'll, and yeah. I'll, so there you go. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't we take a, take a second and listen to a little bit of Let's Too Damn Good. And you'll, you'll hear what I'm saying. It's got a bit of a rock edge. There is. And we'll talk about that when we finish. Okay. He drinks what he likes He eats what he likes He winks cause it's better than good He thinks what he likes He goes where he likes Who cares if he's misunderstood He comes when he wants, he leaves when he wants He smiles knowing I never could He doesn't stop to think past tonight Now it's just too damn good So So tell me (laughs) so, So the music has to go along with the story yeah. And part of the thing that was a challenge in, in, in creating this song was I wanted everything to keep spiraling out of control so that it is wild. It, it starts here and it just continues to, to do that throughout the course so that at the end you don't know where it's going, but it, it never stays contained. It keeps yeah. blooming. And this, as you say, it has a little bit of a rock edge. So, Well, this next song that we want to talk about is a more of a ballad. Yeah. And uh, so this one is called Fall in My Arms. Fall in My Arms. Yeah. See, there's the other side of the coin. Yeah. And this is a little bit more from I I there's a, a there's a group of, there's a group of people that I have breakfast with several days a week in Los Angeles. And uh, driving from my apartment to where we had breakfast I had started this musical idea that I was building on my computer, and so on the drive, I just started thinking about words that went with musically what I knew was there. I could record it and play it on my car, and and so um, that's just how it started to develop, and then Mm -hmm. I've got, I make notes for, we talked about this last time, I make notes all the time for songs, so I can go back into my notes, and I know what this song is starting to become. And I can find lines that I've written before. I'm going, that will fit right here. So, Yeah, it's, it's kind of a encapsulating yes. the, the urgency and passion of love. Yes. There's that sense of, you know, like when you fall in love or when that moment hits you, you see, you know, across a crowded room as the yeah, old song oh, goes. Yeah. Uh, you know, all bets are off. Whatever you've told your friends or whatever you've told yourself about, you know, the next time I'm going, I'm going to do it entirely differently. And I'm telling you that 25 feet away when those eyes meet, yeah, all the rules go out the window. All the plans go out the window. You just go, I don't know what you're doing tomorrow, but I've changed my whole calendar. What do you want to do? Yeah, fall in my arms is what you want. Um, there's some of the lyrics, fall in my arms while the world falls silent and waits be in my arms when the sunlight slips through the gates yeah gone are the days all of my wishes were late and i love this part out of the maze everything crooked is straight i mean that's pretty profound yeah i'm i'm glad you like that i like that a lot thank you yeah that's a so just this inspiration these phrases come to you or they do they it's just the way uh Hey, Caitlin Clark can shoot threes from the midcourt. <laughs> yeah, I, she can. <laughs> f- f- phrases come up in my brain from yeah. time to time. So, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, you are a poet. All right, thank you. Maybe first, do you think? Well, our, our, I the, think the music know, comes first. I don't know. I know which, that we've talked I, about I, it. I, I, and it's hard to really pinpoint which comes first, but uh, if, but. A lot of times in a conversation like the one I'm having with you or I could be having it with my piano player, I'll say something and, and somebody will go, that's a song. 
and it's just oh. it's just the way I phrase things, or it's just a kind of a viewpoint, and it just comes out, and somebody goes, God, that's great. Did you just think of that? And you go, okay, then I'll write it down because I, I don't want to forget about it. Yeah. And similarly, if you're driving down the road, I'm not sure everybody hums to themselves or sings to themselves while they, you know, push a grocery cart through H-E-B. Yeah, but it's usually a, a you know, an earworm or something from a song I've heard. Not not so I, much. I wake, not so up, much I wake up with melodies. But you're making my, up yeah, these melodies. That's why I'm, I'm saying you're a composer. There, there's you stuff know. that goes on, and, and I just always thought people just kind of did that. And, and, I don't think so. And once I f- discovered that was a unique thing, then yeah. I just started paying attention to it. And then if I'd hear something I really liked, now we talked about this before, I have a way to record it so that I don't forget that if it's a melody or if it's a rhythm you know right right yeah yeah that's something you easily you know hit record on your phone and so yeah and and remember then what you've what you've come up with um before we hear a little bit of this let's talk talk some about the tv stuff you've been doing just okay. oh, great. not too long ago i did see i think it, one of the most recent things you've done is the morning show did the morning show with reese and uh i did it with reese um yeah, she was playing a reporter right. out in the field, right. and it was a some conflict or something. You it was were a strike, a mining a strike, a, a mining, mining strike. strike. That's what it was. Yeah, and I'm watching this. I had kind of halfway forgotten that you were in it, but I went. <laughs> there's Wait I called you Dave. I, I was always called you. I was you, just watching Dave TV, in. and who's he? <laughs> no, I know who that miner is. that's standing there. Yeah. No, that's good. But you've done so many things. I've done a lot, you know. The uh, and I was in some of the stuff that's happening with music. They go, "How did how did your music stuff start?" And truly, the radio background, which you know about, that we we share, and then the the acting background. It, my way of thinking about it recently has been it's like cross training. Yeah. If uh, there are things like on the morning show, the audition and the actual job was all improvisation. Oh really? They want to. They just want to. You know, they tell you who you're supposed to be, and then they say, "Why are you here?" And then you start making up stuff, and uh, that's a thing that I was. I really think I can go back to radio to how that connects a little bit, but truly, as learning acting things in Los Angeles, you learn how to do that on your feet. And that all gets me back to how songwriting starts. It's a blank sheet of paper, and you get an idea, and what happens next? And you just start making up stuff. Yeah, it's all creative. Yeah. I mean, you can be taught that. I mean, you went to you went to acting school. Uh, no, you, there's there are, there are things that you need to be taught. There need there is if we if we equate it to let's say piano lessons, which I've also had. Right. I, dro- I drove by my piano teacher's Did old you really? house on the way here. Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, you, you have to learn the scales. You have to know the, what the notes are, but you also have to have the facility to know how to play them. Mm-hmm. Because if I hear them in my head and I can't play them, it doesn't do me any good. Right. So you have to learn some things in order to um, for your for your imagination to have something to to work from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, with that, let's. Um hear a little bit of fall in my arms uh, more of a bum, bum, more of a ballad but yeah with a few little surprises yeah, there's time I try, I just throw my hands up high, I can't explain you. Baby, you walk by, and the trees begin to sigh, I can't explain you. So what do you think? The, the last line of the song is, is, uh, is fun for me. There, there's a... Uh, Again, it's it's all an imagined it's an imagined idea of what it's like to have somebody that you're you're crazy about, but the uh, the last line is uh, it's now it's here it's this, at least to me it's crystal clear and in slow motion, 
I'm in. I'm overboard to get to you. It's time to swim or drink the ocean. <laughs> yeah. So that's the thing where you are, you know, so you're in the water and, and your only way out of it is either to drink the entire ocean or learn to swim because you don't have any other choices. You're now kind of in a corner. You're, you're committed. That's it. So I like that. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Well, I was able to hear these two after I heard the one we're going to talk about next. Well, so this is the this is the first one I heard of your group that are in this new EP that you've got. And it's called Beautiful Woman. Mm -hmm. And it really is evocative. I mean, it certainly paints a picture. And uh, you've got a dimly lit nightclub, maybe, and this mysterious figure is uh, commanding the spotlight. And uh, I understand that the, the inspiration is from some beautiful blonde that you... That lived in the neighborhood. Uh-huh. Lived in the neighborhood. And I also like the, uh, the, uh, that, that description that you gave about the dimly lit nightclub and, and is, is, happens to me a lot because I'm trying to imagine where, you, where this song would be performed or where somebody would first hear this song. Yeah. So a lot of things that go into the way a song sounds or the way that it rolls along uh, is a way to actualize that kind of you know, imagined atmosphere. There, there, I used to live, um, Mulholland Drive is the road that runs uh, across the top of what we call the Hollywood Hills. So if you look to this side, you'll see Hollywood and all the way down to the beach. And if you look to this side, you'll see the San Fernando Valley. And, and at night, it's all lit up with the lights on the, uh, everywhere. It's great. And in that area, there were several people who used that ridge road to do their daily walking. Mm -hmm. And several people that you would recognize if you watch television who would walk along that road. Yeah, so yeah. there was, uh, you know, just somebody that I knew that lived in the neighborhood who had this big sun hat. And she was always <laughs> out there with two or three friends. And they would, you know, you'd see them every day. And it was fun to see her. And so there was just a... Um, a prompt f for some reason for me that I thought she's going to get into another big movie because she was a movie star. Mm -hmm. She's going to get into another big movie. And if I want to get the jump on having a song that could be her song in this movie, I just, I'll write it. Uh -huh. So I went in and, and, and I wrote uh, beautiful woman. And, uh, and I thought, well, what kind of, is she going to be a good character or is she going to be the one that you find out at the end was, tricking everybody kind along so you, 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 yeah. you're making this out yeah. you know, again it's just imagination so uh <laughs> i came up so the original line was she's a beautiful woman they're the dangerous kind and everything else from the song just kind of flows yeah, out from there yeah so. yeah yeah you say i i love the phrase from it nothing stops a man like a drop dead beautiful woman the most dangerous kind. <laughs> She's got the pretties, this and that, that haven't ever designed. <laughs> yeah. You never see it coming. There's not a next time. <laughs> and, and you know, again, this kind of goes back to a little bit earlier in this conversation. If, if, if a guy's got his eye on somebody, you can warn them all day long and it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're going, oh, no, no, no. I, I can handle that. I can. I got that. I have, there's a, another, that's a, this is a real digression, but occasionally friends will say, will know that I know this other movie star person. They'll go, can you introduce me so we could go out? And I think, I tell them, she will burn everything you own. <laughs> it doesn't matter because they still want to go. So. They still, yeah, you, they you still. Got, you got to, you got to find out for yourself. Still, still want to meet her. Still want to have that opportunity. Oh, my goodness. Well, enough said, then. Let's listen to Beautiful Woman. Ah. Uh. She's a beautiful woman. They're the dangerous kind She's got the prettiest this and that Heaven ever designed You never see it coming There's not a next time She's a beautiful 
I want to talk about something that you were able to do um, last fall. I did this. Uh, and this was the Heroes Link, the 2023 gala honoring Gary Sinise. Right. And you were the featured music performer right. for this and wrote special music right. to had, honor these Medal of Honor recipients. There were six Medal of Honor recipients that night in a big gala event at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. And the producer of uh, that evening knew me. And she said, I want you to do three songs. And they built a 40-foot video wall behind me. And they put video together so that the video went with the words of my songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, So tell me about the songs. Well, I, I did a song called Angels Are Here. These, these are all songs that I let me make sure. You can hear all these songs. These are all songs that are on my website. Okay. So. Uh, I did a song called Angels Are Here, a song called a Long Way From Home, and a song called Beautiful Joe. And uh, the producer knew those songs and said, I think these will fit perfectly with the evening, with the people that are there, and with what we're trying to do. And it was, uh, it was a... Uh, um, an emotionally gripping night for I'm me. I'm sure it was. For me, it was just, just tremendous. Yeah. Uh, it was an honor to meet the Medal of Honor recipients. Yeah, when you think about what they sacrificed to get to that point. S stunning, and, uh, and to hear their stories directly and get to meet them in person and, uh, was, and just to be a part of an evening that was really set up to honor them to kind of, well, I was just, that was great. Heart was full. Heart was full. Yeah, the, some of the um, recipients are Sergeant Ryan Pitts, uh, Staff Sergeant um, Leroy Petrie. I, I met Leroy first. Master Sergeant, yeah. yeah. He's from a, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and he walked up and said hello, and uh, he, his story is uh, just staggering. And uh, as I recall, he spent some of his uh, career at Fort Hood, Oh, so, really? so that was another part another of the, commonality uh, yeah there was that was another part of that evening for me mm -hmm. was that I did uh, like when I first wrote Angels Are Here I used some background singers that were s soldiers from now Fort Cavazos but, yeah, uh, right, yeah right 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 oh this is this is amazing of course uh, Gary Sinise was their Made her, kind the, of their right honorary person they, they, they oh, of course we all know award. know of him you know the award winning actor director and producer um, Sergeant Dan. Yeah, 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 exactly. He says, well, we can never do enough for our defenders and their loved ones. We can always do a little more. That's it. And for me, it was also fun, you know, uh, fun's the wrong word, uh, meaningful. Uh, Dad uh, passed away in August, and this was in November. So it was a way for me to um, mention him yeah. and mention his World War II service in France and Germany to a room that would understand what that meant, so. Yeah, yeah, your dad, precious, and um, I know, it, you know, you had him a long time. Great, really great years. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so that he's kind of been the key that brings you back to Texas, so. Yes, so now I'll just have to do it on my own. I was so going to say, will you, promise, will you promise you'll still come back and see us? I will absolutely come back. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. I mean, it's just always so much fun to, to, uh, to hear about your exploits and, and especially to to share with uh, our listeners about your music and, and really what, like to. And the creativity that you're still tapping into, which I think is awesome. Thank you. I uh, it's oxygen for me. I need yeah. to, I need to do that. The the heroes linked and, and the, that they're 
this went over so so really well in uh, November that they're bringing it. They're going to do a big event in Texas in September. Are they really? They're planning it. Yeah. It hasn't been, or I tell you what the details on it are. Okay. But I look to be back in the fall to do it. Okay. Do some work there. Though. All right. Well, yeah. And maybe put me in contact with the people involved with that. That would be beautiful. That'd because be wonderful. Because if it's in Austin, it would be it would be easy That'd to be wonderful to help yeah. promote that. Right. Yeah, Heroes Linked. That that's a wonderful thing yeah. that you're doing too. That's it's well, it was important to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hate to say goodbye. So do I. <laughs> I mean, it but just, it I just means we'll have to do all this good. Again. All good things must come to an end. But yeah. Come back, and we will visit I, some I more. I really enjoy the time. I always enjoy the time, <laughs> and I thank you for sharing your audience with Oh, me. well, it is an honor. Thank you, J.D. Hinton. And they can find your music again. At, at J.D. Hinton everywhere. At J.D. Hinton. And uh, you can, of course, download, obviously. And yeah. will you have more songs on this uh, EP? That's there, there are two more songs that are going to come out on this EP. This okay. EP is called uh, Five Smooth Stones. Okay. And uh, there's two more songs. Uh, wh- what month is this? Is uh, this is in May? So there's a song coming out in Jan- June. June's the next month. It shows you how my year's gone. And uh, and then after that in July, the whole EP will be out. Um, and then starting in the fall, we'll have a new EP. So there's there's more to come. Just well, just there's keep you, them need, you do have to keep. It yeah. Coming. Well, I mean, you've got musicians that that work with you yeah. regularly, and and you're still performing, I guess. Live yes, I, I am. I'm ready to do it again. The the because of the way the year ends and so forth. I'm now just starting to plan my year. Okay. Live. Okay. But yeah, do you have any plans to actually perform in Texas to have like a show? Oh, we talked about would, this last time. I would so love to figure out a way to play in Waco somewhere. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of places I'm looking at in Austin. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, no, but if I if I do that, you know, you are going to know. About <laughs> That's it. right. Let us know. For sure, yeah, we'd love to be there. Thanks again. Thank you. J.D. Hinton, yes. And, uh, again, Five Smooth Stones. Five Smooth Stones. Just go to your website. and uh, Yeah, jdhinton.com has got all all the information there. You can access your music. Yeah, and that's that's why. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you again next time on Central Texas Life. Bye-bye. Central Texas Life with Ann Harder is part of the Rogue Media family. Be sure to check out our other shows at roguemedianetwork.com. Please rate this show five stars on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or anywhere you get your podcasts. Join us again soon for more Central Texas Life with Ann Harder. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.